What's going on, everybody? Just got back to the Lexington Card Show. This here is my pickups for today. I was only able to go for uh, two hours. The show started at 10. I had to be gone by noon in order to pick my PSA up today because uh, the UPS store shuts down at 2. So I didn't get the video, hardly anything at all in there, really nothing. Um, but I can tell you, Breakout Cards was there, and you guys can always check his video out if you want to see some of his stuff. There, there wasn't a whole lot that a lot of people had like the same cards I showcased before in there, minus two tables that were overpacked. And I'd like to have shown some of their stuff, but I couldn't get in there for it, and I was squeezing time. So I want to say overall, oh, maybe three fifty I spent on all this stuff, roughly. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. So. This is my stuff for, like, grading purposes or PC for right now. This stuff here is all whatnot. I've met a gentleman who basically bought somebody's huge collection, and he just stuck stuff in boxes. And no, I mean, this guy had, like, five tables worth of boxes. And he's like, yeah, nobody's gone through it. He goes, these four rows here are what you want to go through. And I'm like, cool. Gave me a chair, sat down, went to town. Um, I think the, I'll show you where his stuff starts at once I get into it. But I picked this stuff up along the way, um, going through bargain boxes. And I still think that's the best thing to do, going through bargain boxes. Like here, upper deck, George Bell. You can see my thumb got sliced today. Um, going inside and outside top loaders. Uh, out of 715. Cool little auto. Russell Wilson. I don't know what these are called. I think they're like... Panorama or so, I don't know. I'll have to look up the names. All these different unicorn colors throw me off. But it's out of 99. And I saw these things were selling for, I think it were around like 10 or 12, maybe 13, 14 dollars. And it was marked for like three bucks, you know. Miles Gaskin Auto from Mosaic. Ian Book Relic Illusions. Dual Relic. Uh, I shoot myself while I go to the club. Burris and um, Kadarius Tony. Scotty Barnes, rookie from Hoops. This was kind of cool. Uh, Jay Payton, Piazza, Ventura, Triple Relic from SPX. Somebody asked me about Eagles stuff, and I found three McNabs today. One still has a coating on, all rookies. So, again, um, if you guys are from the Whatnot channel, and I always say come in and check this stuff out, there will be a preview, and if I get stuff from shows, you'll see what's coming up. That's it. All right. And, yes, I did move all the auctions and sales over to whatnot. It's just easier, minus the website. Um, it, it just It's easier for me to go through with a timer and then be able to have, like, actual receipts printed off so it covers in case stuff gets lost, all that other fun stuff. So it just, it just say, a little bit of a time saver. All right, two Jordans. These here were checklists from Upper Deck. Jordan Fleer Genuine and Wizards Uniform. I want to say this is 03. No, 0203. I was close. Another Jordan Wizards Uniform, SP Authentic. Big Finish Jordan from Hoops. Got some Olajuwans. Inserts. More Jordan. More Jordan. 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 And Jordan. Oh, wait. More Jordan. <laughs> Crazy with the Jordan stuff today. Don't worry, I'll be saying Kobe a lot here shortly. Uh, Burrow, Chase Rookies, always good to have. One Maxi I found, one pull in a dollar box. Everybody's all about Jordan pull. Uh, Saquon Barkley Relic from 19. I believe that's his rookie year. I couldn't remember, I just picked it up. Two Marvin Harrison SPs. And this is his rookie year. Marshall Falk, something you don't see a lot of. Marshall Falk, finest rookie with coding. Steve Nash rookies from Bowman. Tim Duncan Fleer metal rookie. Look that up if you PSA 10 once, over 300 bucks. I know an SGC 9.5 sold for like 78. It, it probably won't 10, but it just gives you an idea. Uh, some shacks I picked up, three of them, they'll be in a lot. Finishers, that clear shots from uh, what was this Bowman's best, then tools of the game. 
Uh, some of the stuff I was pricing where I'm starting it at, so I'll pull these off so you guys can see. Kobe Bryant Premium. I was trying to start them at like 50%. Tim Duncan Rookie. Jeter Rookie from uh, Four Sport. Two LeBron James. Sweet Shots. Pretty cool looking. I'm sure I probably bumped the camera by now. No, I actually didn't. Wow. Do I get two of these? Because I want to just show you what they look like. Hard Courts, LeBron. Eli Manning, Topps Chrome Rookie. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe Rookie. Who remembers the scoreboard? Actual company that was licensed. Yep, and insert comment now from Teddy. <laughs> Just kidding. I know Teddy and me talked about. It, that's why. Found these. This was a this was a great find. Eight hoops. This is I believe his third year. Ninety eight ninety nine NBA hoops, which was made by Skybox. I found six of them. I mean, if, if somebody buys these a lot and you PSA 10 one, whoo, good money. One, two, five Zoopermans of uh, Kobe I found. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, uh, stuff you don't see all the days is what I'm looking for. Or like relics or autos that people just want to get rid of, you know. And I'm digging boxes all day long. Stuff for me, Big Ben. That's that weird uh, thing that's out of 99. I don't know if it'll grade or not, but just for me. This Kobe, because I actually bought this years ago out of uh, Black Diamond. And I've always wanted one. And I think this might have a chance of being a PSA 10, which is only like 100 bucks, But still, um, I like Black Diamond. I was a big fan of it. And when basketball came out, this is one of the first cards I actually owned of it. All right, these three were all part of a deal. Guy that always buys for me, he picked up a huge hockey um, collection. It was like Crosby. There is Whiting. If I can get to it. Focus. Right up here, which will probably give me about a seven on this. But I couldn't pass it up. Sidney Crosby Auto, even if a PSA 7s. These were selling around like 250, 300 raw. And he hooked me up. I'm not going to lie. He also had one of these, the Clear Cut Champions. This was, what's this, a 100, 100. Um, these are die cut, but they're clear coat from upper deck from the rookie year. I didn't pay this. 10-11 year. So this is the year after they won the cup. And I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time, a Tavares Young Gun. I was deployed, like I was saying, um, during the time these came out and I didn't get any. So I, he had four of me. Let me pick the best one out of the bunch for myself to hopefully attend. So these are all for myself. But the highlights, man, highlights. So I'll tell you, I was telling Joey on the phone, you know, I cut this guy deals. And he bought some big cards for me. I've never bought from him. And he was at the end, and um, there was a lot of people at his table. And, you know, he returned a favor with these here completely with me with a good deal. And I appreciate it. I, want, I would have bought more hockey from him, but I was already at like noon, and I had an hour and a half drive to get to the UPS store before they shut down. So pretty cool stuff overall. Um, one of my better Lexington show pickups, I'm not going to lie. If it wasn't for this stack here and this guy being here, I would not have bought anything. So I was trying to get some other deals, and guys were just dead set on um, – Whatever the highest price they could find on whatever platform is what they wanted for the card. Which is hard, especially when you start dealing with Raw. When you're dealing with Raw, unless it's like numbered and you could tell that it's going to grade pretty well onto it, it's really hard to get anything close to, you know, even 80% comps on that stuff. And there's people wanting 100, 110, 120% comps. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm done. I mean, when, I, when you work a deal and it's like you want X amount of dollars, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I got to grade these. And if they don't grade 10s, I lost money, and I just move on. 
just move on. But again, real good show. Uh, next weekend, I'll be in Richmond, Kentucky. Anybody's there, stop by, say hello. I will have more time at the shows. I promise from here on out to do videos of showing you guys what's around. Richmond will be a first time going to it. So we'll see what happens. And it's Derby weekend, so we'll see what happens with that. But I got to get ready for whatnot tonight, everybody. I'm going to try to get all this stuff listed. I already got all that on there. Fun times, fun times, trying to <laughs> burn the weekend. What do they call it? The weekend midnight oil, I was told. But, all right, you guys have a good one. Um, I guess I'm going to put this video out on a Sunday, so have a good rest of the uh, beginning of the week and through the week and everything. If you guys are watching the Derby, I have no idea who's even favorite this year. It's sad when you live in Kentucky and you don't even pay attention to Derby after the first two years of being here. Ha! All right, guys. Take care.